Well, chapter it's only after the delayed start of the season for you. You're making up for last time now. What was it like to play a big part in Saturday's win? Yeah, it was good, you know. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to affect the game and get goals and assists for the team. So it was good to grab an assist and come on and help the team get the win in the last minute. What was the journey like for the lads and coming in today, real spring in the step from all the lads? Yeah, I think I think we're, we've had, we're on a good run. Yeah. To get that win has really um, boosted us and everyone's in great spirits heading into the game tomorrow. So if get a win tomorrow, we're going to be in a great position and we can really push on and try and get up the league and have a fantastic season together. You mentioned about an assist on Saturday. Is that a part of your game that you really work on every day? Yeah, well, I, I'm, that's one of my targets. I want to try and get more goals and assists because yeah. I feel I can and I feel that's what my strengths will will be and can be so I'm gonna I'm working on that every day talking to coaches and trying to focus on getting that and working on that so I can help the team must be good to have Robbo part of it as well the first team set up after you know you worked with you at the academy yeah well all, all the coaches are great with me and try help me fulfill my best potential well obviously it's great to have Robbo he's known me for so long since I've been there and he's helped me through come through the academy and for us to both to be in the first team and um, working together is it's really nice I take it that was the message from the manager on Saturday as well go on and affect the game in the best way you can yeah well I think he, he said to me well come on just go on get the ball down settle us down and um go and try and create something and that's what all I've tried to do. I've tried to come on, try and drive us forward and try and get, get the win, which we did. One of your teammates, who shall remain nameless, shall we say, uh, pointed out that you changed your haircut back. How could you do that after after we won? No, I had a long thought about it, but, you know, no, I changed it up, just had a, had a go with it, but, yeah, had to change it up. You're not going to change it again if we win, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But it's only your second season at first team level. How do you think you're coping up with, with the step up? Yeah, well, I think I think I coped well last season when I first came into the team. I thought I coped well with it and this kind of tried to push on the the level I feel I'm coping with. I just want to now push on to the next next level and um, I want to be hitting some real good stats for us in this season and next season and just really make myself a real key, key player for Wimbledon and push on. For yourself and the other boys who came through the academy, what, what's it like to be a part of the club at such an important time after coming through the ranks? Yeah, well, like we speak about it, some of us, like it's great for us to come through the academy and you know come into the first team and especially with the club direction that's going. Yeah. You know, you see we're coming back to Plough Lane now. And yeah. That's that's un unreal for us, yeah. us boys who have been here for a long time and to come round um, play at Power Lane is just it's brilliant yeah because that just reminds us how long you've been at the club yeah I think it's nine years that long nine, yeah. ninth season maybe yeah yeah, yeah. Steffa or something like that but yeah yeah so it really feels a part of your life now doesn't it oh yeah massively yeah. always will be so yeah. yeah and you're still living locally yeah ten minutes from the training grounds it's, yeah. it's nice and easy for me to get in so yeah. it's all good yeah, and it's always good when we get new faces. Ben Hennigan, uh, a yeah. northerner in the squad, so yeah. starting to increase uh, the northern influence. Yeah, I know. No, he's been good since he's come in. He's um, trained a couple of times with the boys, done well when he came on, on on Saturday, and you know he's a good lad, so hopefully he can bring something to the team. Turning attention to Tuesday night, Gillingham. Happy memories of going there last season before yeah. the lockdown started. What do you remember about that? that last game? season was it was a, it was a great game, great atmosphere. Yeah. Fans were unreal that game, mm. and it was I think it was Callum, wasn't it? Got yeah. the yeah. got the last minute goal and got us to win. But yeah, it's always a good battle when we go to Gillingham. So mm. you know, hopefully it'll be a good game tomorrow, and we can get the three points. In terms of our fans, they would love to be going and supporting the boys in this hectic schedule yeah. coming up. What, what's your message to them? Because you, you're, you're on social media, you've seen some of their messages of support. Yeah, well, any way they can support. I know they're all supporting. And, and um, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the support on social media and all of you watching on um, iFollow and everything. We, we know you're behind us and we just want to do it for you guys when we're, when we're out there. But, it, like I say, like, 
we do miss you out there, but you know we'll we'll try and do all we can until you guys can be back in the stadium. It's great to hear. Thanks for showing us. Really. Thank you.